Former star liberal candidate and now outgoing MP Andrew Leslie is set to testify against the Trudeau government in the Mark Norman trial. It isn't known exactly in what capacity Leslie is prepared to testify, whether he would act as a character witness or something more substantive. The former lieutenant general is expected to testify, though ahead of the federal election on October the 21st. Vice Admiral Mark Norman is on trial for the alleged leaking of documents on how the government awarded a military contract. Let's bring in our commentators here from the left, the center and the right to give us their take on this. For the Conservatives, you got Jamie Ellerton standing by, NDP's Tom Parkin is with us, and Jeff Turner's back with us too for the Liberals. L let me start with you on this, Jamie Ellerton. You have been talking a lot about the Vice Admiral Mark Norman trial in recent months here. What do you make of this Andrew Leslie development? I think this is uh, pretty big news and it forebodes just the ongoing threat that this trial will face to Justin Trudeau's political future. Marie Heinen, uh, Lieutenant Admiral Norman's lawyer is one of the best in the country and so you used as part of the lead and maybe he's there for a character reference i think if you look at the kind of sausage making and the nuanced process of all of this that we already know through media reports i think uh, mr leslie is probably there to say more than to stand up for admiral norman so this is probably bad news uh, for justin trudeau i think it kind of gives a reason and understanding as to why mr leslie decided he was not going to reseek uh, election this fall announced of course before the weekend when this this news broke, and uh, Justin Trudeau's got uh, some more long nights ahead of him. Tom Parkin, your read on the story, because it was getting a lot of buzz today in question period. Sure. I mean, this story rates a huge OMG. This is a, a person who was passed over as the Minister of Defense. I think he, he believed, and many believed, he would become the Minister of Defense uh, and was a star recruit for the Liberals, now to be testifying against the Liberal government uh, and on behalf of somebody who is charged by the Liberal government. Uh, for a breach. So this has uh, some, some unfortunate for the Liberals' uh, resonance. This is again Liberals versus Liberals. This is again Liberals in court and de dealing with uh, matters of, uh, you know, uh, of anonymous sources and that sort of thing. It all kind of reprises a bad story that we've already seen earlier this year. And, and the outcome of this is also problematic because this is about, again, uh, some very powerful interests. This is about, in part, the Irving family, uh, the billionaire Irving family from Eastern Canada, and whether they were putting, uh, what, what their involvement was in this situation, because, of course, the root of the story here, here is that it was the Irving shipyard uh, that was pressing to get a reconsideration of a retrofit deal that ended up being uh, sole source for about uh, $670 million right. to a competitor. So there's again this kind of these these all these narratives that have been building up this spring about billionaires and back rooms and liberals fighting liberals and what does the liberal party look like anymore? Is it a liberal party adrift and divided? We know that the trial expected to start Jeff in August and of course there is an election coming up in October. What's your read on all this? Well, first, actually, I'd just like to uh, congratulate Tom. I understand he's put his name forward to run in October, and uh, we need good people to step up for uh, for election. So congratulations to him as he embarks on that journey. Um, I think in terms of the, the Leslie and Norman uh, issue that was raised on Friday, um, I did notice one uh, detail on this story that was reported, which was that Mr. Leslie made this known to the Prime Minister's office that he uh, was being called to testify in this case about a year ago. Uh, and so just any implication that, that the two things are related, his announcing that he will not be running in October and that he will be a witness in this, potentially a witness in this trial, uh, I think can be treated separately.